I'm so excited to see people and to talk to them uh, face to face. This, this, this is just amazing. <laughs> nice to see that many other companies are also doing similar things and then solving similar problems. It's nice to see what technology other pe other companies are using then we, maybe we can learn from there. And Training was really nice. I presented the training for, for the beginners who just want to learn about Flink and uh, we had a good audience. Uh, we, it was around 40 to 50 people in the in the room and there was constantly also questions being asked so there was some back and forth going which I really liked. The thing that struck not just me but many have commented on it compared to the last event apparently in 2019 there's a lot more females around this time which we all liked because it shows it's it's not a male dominated thing anymore to work in IT it's, it's actually becoming more and more diverse. After the yes. talk, we chat outside the conference room as well and talk more in detail of, about our work and other people's work and learn from each other. I think that one is pretty beautiful. And also I can feel the passion here. I would say I think the Flink community, like the open source community, has been great. Like we've, we've reached out, asked questions. Um, and you know it's they're so responsive and it's been it's been a pleasure working with people in the community. After joining the conference, I do see more and more company like the big company or startup they are uh, adapt the uh, Flink as their computation engine for their streaming use cases, including LinkedIn. We we do see Flink. Um, provide a future rich uh, su uh, like support for our use cases. So we gradually like move our st string SQL use cases to Flink. So yeah, definitely we love it. I had the impression that stream processing itself becomes a topic that companies now understand what it is and are happy to invest into. So it's, it's, it's not just Flink, but many other components that make up that industry. And I think it's, it's great to see many companies involved in a community a project like Flink, because it means it's here to stay. Use Flink and uh, come together uh, at conferences to meet as well, so that uh, we can get to know each other better and we can discuss use cases and learn from each other and also get the faces behind all the messages in the, in the Flink community, whether it's uh, the Slack channel or the mailing list.